What's up guys and welcome back to another Let's Check It Out with Sergio J. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this home sweet home Valentine's plaque. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'll be going over the materials that I used for this material. I used this heart shaped plaque that I got from the dollar store. Paint brushes that I also got from the dollar store. I believe they came in a set of five. I am using Craft Smart acrylic paint in the color light pink and bright red. I will also be using UV resistant clear acrylic coating. I will be using my Cricut Maker and these three StarCraft HD glossy permanent vinyl in the color pink, black and red. I used my scraper tool and this pin pen weeding tool. I used my transfer tape and this one I'm using the Cricut brand. Okay so I got my heart shape black and I painted half of it red and half of it pink as you can tell. Um, I just didn't do it from the beginning because I didn't notice my camera <laughs> was not recording. Um, I guess I was so excited about doing this that I forgot to press record. <laughs> All right, so by now you guys uh, probably noticed that this will be a voiceover, so you won't get to see me. I'm sorry to, to disappoint you. Um, Most of you will just be seeing me do this and my hands, so uh, just bear with me. All right, so um, like I said, I painted half of it pink, half of it, half of it red, and um, I painted the sides uh, just to make sure it um, it looked really good. Um, you you can use a uh, painter's tape to make that straight line. Um, I just couldn't find mine at the same time, so I guess that's why I was like in such in a hurry uh, just to start recording. But anyway, um, on that red, I did like two more layers of paint, so. Um, I did three coats of paint on that red only because I kept um, seeing uh, blotches of um, you know the under of the wood um, yeah and because I wanted I wanted that red to be like really nice and bright um, so yeah so I had to end up doing like three coats of that red but it turned out really good so I'm happy with that all right so after the paint dried I covered I sprayed on the UV resistant clear acrylic coating um, pretty much to seal in that paint and keep it looking nice and fresh um, I did use a gloss one so it even though it, it, it says gloss uh, at the end it's just uh, like a satin shine to it so it's not too glossy I like the the, the results at the end Okay, so while the clear coating dries, I went to a Cricut Design Space and I went to Upload and I went to View All right here and I scrolled down to look for the design that I wanted which is right here, the home, sweet home and insert image. Okay, so then I clicked on this resize handle and just resized it a little bit smaller because it did come up a little bit big um, now I went up to the left side panel where it said shapes and I clicked on that heart and I got the measurement of my heart plaque which I believe was 9.5 so up on the top menu where you see that it says size on the width I changed it to 9.5 which was the width of the actual plaque and that just gives me an idea of what how I should resize my image 
Okay, so I had to change the height to 9.5 and I did that by unlocking that little lock right here between the, the height and the width and that just unlocks the proportions. So after doing that, I came over here to the top left corner or right here and changed the color of that heart just to this tan peachy color um, just so I can get an idea of of that um, of that wood uh, stain color whatever and now I am able to uh, play with the size of it and just get an idea of what the image would look like on that black heart and so then I'm gonna center it but centering it it just dropped it down so I still kept it there at that center but I just dragged it up a little bit and got it just where I thought it would look really good So at this point I am pretty much done with that heart and I am going to get rid of it because it was only there just to give me an idea of what it would look like. So bye bye heart and now we can, now I'm just going to change the color of this little heart right here and just make it match to the little tiny hearts that are to the left and the right of it. Now we are ready to make this so we're gonna go up here to the top right corner where it says make it and as you can see Cricut Design Space uh, separates each color um, the black, the pink, and the three. It pretty much separates it into three mats. Now, I don't want to print three times, so what I'm going to do is change everything into this, that same um, mat number one. And what I'm going to do is click right here to move object to number one and right here. And I'm just going to reposition it to where I am going to place in the vinyl of that color. Even though I'm putting them into the black one, I know I'm going to put them in their corresponding colors so I'm not sure if this is making sense but it will in a bit just hold on so um, I'm replacing them into the spot where I know they're gonna be printing at and now lastly is this heart I'm gonna move the object to that first mat continue and move it all the way to the top right corner and hit Continue. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how I place them on the mat. So first you want to, I am using the standard grip mat and I am removing the plastic uh, protective uh, and I am placing that red for the heart, the black on this top left corner that is going to be for the, all the fonts. And underneath that black I am placing that pink for those pink hearts and as you can see I am just smoothing all the air bubbles underneath just to get them all out you can also use your scraper with this but I am just using my hand so now I am going back to the computer and I am going to hit continue and I, f I always forget to turn on my uh, Cricut Maker, so um, I'm going to turn it on and then it's going to connect to the machine. And for some reason it always tells me it's connected somewhere else, but it's not. I don't know. It's just a glitch that it has. Okay, so now we are choosing the type of material we are using. I am using premium vinyl and it's asking me to make sure the clamp B has the fine point blade and now I'm gonna hit the load button after I load the mat is gonna ask 
me to press the go button or the cricket button it's gonna load the map and it's gonna start printing and I included the the screen of the computer just so you guys can see how this works um, on the screen you're getting a percentage of how much of the job is done and how much as you, you can get an idea of how much time is left for your job and as you can see the machine obviously this is sped up a little bit but you can see the machine works pretty fast and really good I so far I love my Cricut cut Cricut Maker and I can't wait to make more stuff. Okay so right now it's just finishing up those tiny little hearts and it's done. And I am going to hit the unload button and finish over here on the screen and it takes me back to the Cricut Design Space but I'm done with that. Now I'm going to weed out the negative spaces that I don't need from my design. So I'm using this new tool, this new weeding tool that I got from 143 Vinyl. I'll put the link down below. Um, it was also recommended from Mr. Crafty Pants. If you don't know who Mr. Crafty Pants is, you might want to follow his YouTube channel. I'll put a link for him as well down below um, this uh, pin pen weeding tool is um, so cool because as you guys um, were able to see that tip is like like a like a needle it's so um, small and, and thin it works really good to take out these small pieces I'm sorry that my hand is in the way but um, I will rep reposition the camera in a bit so right here all I did was um, while I still had my designs on the grip mat I took off all the, the tiny small pieces um, and then I removed my vinyls from the grip mat. Um, it's always um, from what I've seen and from a little bit of experience that I have it's always better to weed out um, your pieces on the grip mat just because it holds the paper down your vinyl down and your vinyl isn't moving all over while you're trying to weed it out um, a recommend recommendation I have is pulling your design away from the mat pulling your mat away from the design rather than pulling the design from your mat this just avoids it from curling up on you um, I'm not sure that made sense but anyway I'm just going to finish uh, weeding the larger pieces, if that makes sense. Okay, so my battery died. I'm so sorry. Um, I did the tiny little hearts and now I'm just doing the red heart. For the red heart, I didn't use a transfer tape just because um, it, I felt like it didn't need it. But um, you can always use it. And right here, I'm just using my scraper tool just to uh, push down on that uh, design just so it, it will adhere correctly to the heart and now I'm, go I'm gonna do the ME and just scrape it down a little bit onto the transfer tape so the transfer tape will hold it and transfer it over at this point I was kind of uh, as you saw I was putting it a little bit away from the heart only because I felt like it wasn't centered but 
then I remembered I was um, gonna add the flowers to it so it, it didn't matter because um, once I added the flowers it's gonna it was gonna look um, so much better so now I'm gonna transfer this sweet home and I think if you remember correctly on the image uh, suites and home were like right side by side but I just I don't know for some reason I, I liked it better with the suite on top of the home that makes sense <laughs> for some reason it, like it didn't make sense when I said it but it makes sense I know you guys got it all right for this part I did switch switch the scraper I'm pretty sure you guys noticed this scraper I also got it from 143 vinyl um, it's just a, a bigger uh, scraping tool or as they call it a squeegee okay so right here um, I am placing the flowers um, not gluing them yet I was just trying to see um, the placing of them or how I was gonna arrange them I knew how I had an idea of what I wanted to do but like usually I just I just um, even if I plan something it, it always comes out differently than, from what I planned so I just rather wing it and we're pretty much this is what I'm doing this is what I'm doing here I'm again I am so sorry that my hand is in the way <laughs> it's always in the way so right here I glued I already glued a top heart and a bottom heart and now I'm gonna do another uh, wait not heart I'm sorry rose I did a rose at the top and a rose at the bottom and right now I am doing a third rose the only problem I was having was that I would lay down the glue and by the time I wanted to place the rose the glue was already dried so it was kind of hard to, um, this glue gun it, the glue sucks um, I don't think it's the glue gun so much as I think it's the glue itself but it is from the dollar store so you get what you pay for I guess and yes I know I have a ugly glue glue gun or a dirty glue gun I mean I don't care it works so if it works I mean whatever I mean I have another one but the other one is it's pretty much as dirty as this one or maybe even more but whatever it works <laughs> so I'm right here I'm just gonna be gluing down the roses and another tool I didn't mention is this one right here the um, a wire cutter I use uh, to cut the, uh, the stem of the, the flowers of the roses okay so right here I repositioned the camera um, just the, uh, for a better angle for you guys rather than staring at my hand the back of my hand the whole time and I am sorry that for the camera wasn't focused but you can see what I'm doing or get an idea of what I'm doing and just There was also these, um, I don't know what, what to call them exactly, you guys. Uh, they were like styrofoam glitter covered hearts. <laughs> um, and these, uh, these were also um, sold separately, the roses um, and these little hearts, um, puffy hearts. I don't know, like, I don't know what to call them. We're going to call them puffy hearts. So these puffy hearts... <laughs> Um, also came separately um, so I got these white ones and uh, the red ones in which they will be showing up pretty soon um, yeah there you go that red one and the white ones and the roses and I just wanted 
uh, when I saw them, I'm like, okay, I, I like right away, I was starting to imagine something in my head. So, so like I said, I, I have, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. It's just executing the, the final product, um, which is, which I feel like it, it turned out uh, pretty cute. I, I loved it. Um, and um, I actually have it um, right at the entrance of like when you come into the house. So it turned out pretty cute. I love I love it. I love how it turned out. One thing um, I didn't record or I didn't mention, so I'm going to mention it right now. The heart on the word home at the top. Um, I got a pen and I just outlined that heart because the red heart on the red background it was hard to to see it so i just got a pen like a black ink pen and i just went over that edge just to make it stand out because um like i said it was hard to see but anyway right here i'm just re finished re uh, arranging that this last little heart this last little puffy heart and um yeah and just so it wouldn't cover that um those letters at the bottom but i really love how love how this turned out and i hope you guys liked it too i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this this was so cool to make um yeah the last step was putting uh this string back on and the another thing I did not think about was that I was putting all the weights on the right side of the plaque so when I hanged it it, it leans to the to the right so but anyway um, I just placed it on on uh, this little pl plant flower plant we have here um, and I love how it looks but anyway I hope you guys like this video hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload my next video. Thanks guys.